Hi, I'm Rita Wilkins, also known as the Downsizing Designer. So I want to talk to you about a real life story, very poignant um, story that talks about the hidden life changing powers of decluttering. So who could have guessed that the cathartic process of purging and decluttering one woman's home, one drawer, one closet, one room at a time <clears throat> could change the direction and the trajectory of her life forever. So what began as an attempt to help a client gradually um, declutter her home that had been become so overrun with clutter that she was overwhelmed to the point of being paralyzed and powerless to accomplish the task on her own. So she finally reached out for help. What ended up happening though was completely unexpected. After almost a year of decluttering, a powerful, confident, emboldened woman emerged from underneath all of that clutter. That physical, emotional clutter that had been standing in her way of the peace, the contentment, and the fulfillment that her life <clears throat> is now in a clutter-free home. And even more importantly, after fully embracing the inner work of decluttering, she's now a woman who loves and respects herself enough to confront anyone, including herself, um, of, the, of the negative talk and anyone who tells her she can't when she knows she can. So, but perhaps the most significant impact of decluttering, both the physical and mental clutter, is the life-changing power that she discovered hidden beneath all of that stuff. So, <clears throat> getting your life back through decluttering is possible. So, several major um, transformations occurred during that nine month process. She regained control of her physical environment um, by purging anything that she no longer wanted, needed, or used, creating a, a space for a simpler, more abundant life with less. She also reclaimed her own power by discovering a new sense of control over herself and her life, ultimately making room for the life she really wanted. And she also discovered her self-worth, her self-love, inner peace, contentment, and happiness. Throughout the process of purging, she also learned how to confront and talk about the deep-seated feelings of resentment, the frustration, um, the anger, the upset that, she had been, that had been building up for many years, which she kept hidden. She also learned how to reject and refuse to allow that negative self-talk, the non-supportive environment that prevented her from accomplishing her decluttering goals and instead replacing it um, with a supportive team that would inspire and encourage her um, on her decluttering journey. Um, she learned to develop new skills, routines, and habits um, that will con contribute to a more sustainable um, decluttered environment. <clears throat> so a few weeks into the decluttering process, I was introduced to her spouse for the first time. And she said, Rita's here to help us declutter our home. And he responded, good luck with that. So to this day, those cruel, biting, and disrespectful words still ring in my ears. In that moment, I saw a woman um, who had heard this message so many times before um, that she felt beaten down by a spouse, betting against her and not wanting her to succeed. So how could she possibly win at decluttering, let alone anything else, no wonder she felt incapable and powerless um, to declutter the house on her own. So for me, those were fighting words. Um, his disrespectful words lit a fire inside of me to not only help her get her house back, but also to help her reclaim her power, her self-respect, and her belief in herself. So I was so committed to having her reverse the real-time cost of clutter. So getting started and staying motivated and, and winning at that cluttering, a decluttering game. Um, there's an, I have an overview of the process that we use. Um, it's a life-changing approach to decluttering. So number one is to establish the ground rules. And, and those ground rules are for a safe, supportive, judgment-free space that inspires and encourages weekly progress. It also inspires and encourages um, the person to open up and to talk about their feelings and their emotions about why clutter is there in the first place. This number two was to teach the practical tools, the tips, the techniques to, to let go of that excess that, um, not, that did not align with her values and her current lifestyle. 
And number three was to practice techniques for overcoming the obstacles and the um, and breaking free of those barriers that slowed her down um, in the decision making process. So we could we could make good progress. And we took before and after pictures um, at every decluttering session so she could see the results um, from the before and from the after. And then complete that initial intake and um, questionnaire and intake form. Um, it helped me better understand the impact of the physical and emotional clutter that was having on her health, her well being, her relationships, um, her productivity, and her overall happiness. And then week by week, we monitored the level of her commitment um, and asked her to write out a, a journal so that she could record then her emotions and how she was feeling about not just the progress, but about herself. And number seven is to create a written vision statement for the life after decluttering. So in her case, all she wanted to do was to be able to have friends come into her house, family um, just pop in because um, at that point she was just so overwhelmed by the clutter and she was embarrassed. So and the next one is to create a blueprint or a roadmap for all of the areas in your home um, to be decluttered. And this is just more of an organizational tool to help prioritize the areas um, in order of importance and the biggest impact for her. And then establish um, decluttering calendar with specific dates, times, goals for each session. Um, I'm <clears throat> pretty much a stickler for um, keeping appointments with yourself and certainly with me if I'm helping them declutter. And this was good because it was for accountability purposes. And then number 10 is to document weekly progress, um, noting whether the goals were achieved or not. And if they weren't achieved, why not? And what might have been done differently um, then what might be done differently the next time. So in other words, we're always learning during that entire process and then, then documenting it. So room by room, session by session, we began to see real transformation and results. So as she grew to trust me, she openly talked about the emotions that she, she had regarding decluttering and the messes that had built up. She had denied um, and, and attempted to hide for many years those feelings of anger, resentment, frustration, and the disrespect was really at the top of her list. So she came to realize that she not only lost control of her house which, and also the clutter within it, but she had also lost her own power and her own self-respect. So with each bag of discarded trash, with each box of donated stuff, <clears throat> She was not only letting go of the physical clutter, but also letting go of the mental clutter that had been the real roadblock to any possibility of success that she had been looking for. So as her house started to feel lighter and brighter and more organized, she too started to exude that, uh, that new found power, um, self-confidence, self-respect, and during the nine month long journey of decluttering, of getting her house and her life back, she miraculously discovered the real cost of clutter as the woman who had been hiding underneath it all, that began to emerge, which was such a beautiful thing to watch. So, <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> there is a good ending to this story and we all like good endings and this one will warm your heart. So about six months into the process, her spouse began to compliment her on her commitment and her progress, which was considerable by that time. He also offered to help. So a month before we finished that large project, her husband happily announced that they had decided to have a big party at their home, something that they both were too ashamed to do in the past. So at last, and also together, um, they could proudly invite people into their home. So this is the success story that I hope helps you understand there's far more to clutter than just the physical clutter, there's the mental clutter. Hope this helps.